Radiant rebels, ever wondered why sometimes it feels like your conversations are stuck in rush hour traffic while everyone's honking for attention? Well, let me whisk you away on a storytelling journey that'll untangle this snarl and introduce you to a game changer, feminine energy in communication. In a bustling office where Sarah, the team led, always gets her point across effortlessly. Her secret. It's not just her words, but this mystical thing called feminine energy. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, it's not glitter and unicorns. Communication isn't just about words. It's like a dance where energies twirl and tango. In comes the feminine energy, like a smooth operator, adding depth, empathy and understanding to the mix. It's the kind of mojo that can transform a mere chat into a heart-to-heart -heart exchange. Why is this a big deal, you ask? Well, effective communication isn't just a work thing. It's the source that flavors our personal connections, too. Whether it's persuading your boss or simply making your partner understand why the last slice of pizza mysteriously vanished, it's all about finesse in communication. So buckle up, Radiant Rebels. We're about to dive into how this elusive feminine energy can wave its magic wand and flip the script on how we connect, both at work and in our daily lives. Get ready for a storytelling roller coaster that'll sprinkle wisdom without needing a dictionary. Understanding feminine energy communication. Radiant Rebels. Let's unpack this concept of feminine energy in communication without diving into the rabbit hole of cosmic mystique. Imagine masculine energy as the go-getter, direct and action-oriented, like a lion on a mission. Now enter feminine energy. It's the nurturing, intuitive side, akin to a wise owl observing from a cozy tree branch. Think of a conversation like a dance floor. Masculine energy leads with logic, structure and clarity. It sets the steps. On the flip side, feminine energy adds rhythm, emotion and depth, creating the beautiful dance of communication. It's not about one being better than the other. It's about finding that harmonious balance. Here's the kicker. Feminine energy isn't just for women. Oh no, it's a universal toolkit. We all possess both energies within us, and learning how to use them is like mastering the art of speaking two languages fluently. It's about tapping into that softer, empathetic side, no matter your gender, and weaving it into your conversational tapestry. So, when you're discussing a project or negotiating your way out of doing the dishes, we've all been there, don't just focus on facts and figures. Embrace that feminine energy by listening deeply, understanding emotions, and expressing thoughts with empathy. It's the sprinkle of magic dust that turns ordinary chats into meaningful connections. Radiant Rebels, let's play the compare and contrast game with communication styles, masculine versus feminine. Look at it this way, masculine style is like a straight arrow, clear, direct, and to the point. It's the get to the point, pronto, vibe, where efficiency reigns supreme. Think of it as texting in bullet points. On the flip side, feminine style is more like a scenic route, meandering through emotions, stories and connections. It's the let's dive deep and explore mode, where feelings and nuances take centre stage. If masculine style is a fast food drive through feminine style is a gourmet, multi-course meal both delicious but served in different ways. Now here's where it gets interesting. Masculine communication often rocks the boat of facts and solutions, while feminine communication sets sail on the sea of emotions and empathy. It's like comparing a superhero's punch, masculine with a soothing hug feminine, both powerful in their own right. Here's a pinch of humour. Masculine style might be like a GPS, giving precise directions, while feminine style is the wise friend who says, let's take a detour, there's a lovely view ahead. It's not about one being better, it's about having the right tool for the job. 
Sometimes you need Google Maps, and other times you need a friendly chat over a cup of cocoa. Radiant Rebels, let's talk about how this elusive feminine energy works wonders in the realm of connections. Let's say that you're in a conversation, and instead of just nodding along like a bobblehead, you tap into your feminine energy. What happens? The magic unfolds. Feminine energy is like the secret source for connections. It's the sprinkle of understanding that makes someone go, hey, this person really gets me. When you tune into this vibe, you're not just hearing words, you're sensing the emotions behind them. It's like putting on empathy glasses suddenly, you see beyond the surface. Ever had a chat where you felt truly heard and understood? That's the magic of feminine energy at play. It's the art of listening deeply, not just with your ears, but with your heart. And guess what? People love being around those who make them feel understood, appreciated and valued. That's the power of feminine energy fostering those heart-to-heart -heart connections. Imagine a world where every conversation feels like a warm, fuzzy blanket. That's the kind of vibe this energy brings. It's about creating a safe space where people feel comfortable, opening up and sharing their thoughts and feelings. So next time you're having a chat, channel that inner empathetic wizard and watch how it transforms your connections into something truly magical. Share this insightful video. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers together and empower more lives. Leveraging feminine energy at work. Radiant Rebels, let's zoom into the workplace wonderland where feminine energy takes on a superhero role. Cue empathy and emotional intelligence. Imagine that you're in the office jungle and instead of roaring like a bossy lion, you tap into your feminine energy toolkit. Empathy is like your superpower cloak in the workplace. It's not about reading minds, as cool as that would be but it's about understanding emotions, walking a mile in someone else's shoes and offering a comforting pat on the back when needed. Imagine having a boss who gets it, who listens, understands and supports you. That's the magic of empathy at work. Now let's sprinkle some emotional intelligence into the mix. It's like having a radar for feelings and vibes. When you're emotionally intelligent, you can decode those subtle workplace signals, the eye rolls in meetings, the stressed out sighs, or the excitement buzzing around a successful project. It's not just about acing tasks, it's about navigating the emotional landscape of the office. Here's the secret sauce. Workplaces thrive when there's a sprinkle of feminine energy in the mix. It's not about replacing the get it done attitude, it's about complementing it with a dash of understanding and emotional finesse. Imagine a workplace where conflicts get resolved without World War III vibes, or where feedback feels like a gentle nudge forward instead of a hammer to the head. That's the power of feminine energy, making the workplace a more humane and productive space. Radiant Rebels, let's dive into some communication strategies that can turn your team into a well-oiled collaboration machine. Make believe that you're on a team project, and instead of everyone talking over each other like a chaotic game show, you unleash the power of feminine energy in communication. First up, active listening is the MVP. It's not just nodding along while mentally planning your grocery list. Nope, it's about truly tuning in to what others are saying. Try this. Listen, ask questions and show you're genuinely interested. It's like giving someone the spotlight in a conversation and saying, you're important and I'm all ears. Next on the list, speaking your mind with kindness. It's the art of sharing your thoughts without trampling over others' ideas. Imagine a brainstorming session where everyone's ideas are like puzzle pieces and your job is to find the perfect fit. It's about expressing yourself while making room for others to shine too. Then comes the power of feedback, not the scary, critique-loaded kind, but the constructive, growth-oriented type. Feedback is like a roadmap to improvement. 
When given with empathy and received with an open mind, it's the secret sauce for team evolution. Imagine a workplace where feedback feels more like a friendly guidebook than a red pen slashing through your work. And last but not least, let's sprinkle in a pinch of adaptability. It's like being a chameleon in the workplace, not changing who you are, but adjusting how you communicate based on who you're interacting with. It's about understanding that everyone has their unique communication style and flexing a bit to meet them halfway can work wonders for teamwork. So there you have it, Radiant Rebels. These communication strategies might just be the secret keys to unlocking a world of smoother collaborations and teams where everyone feels heard, valued and ready to conquer mountains together. Radiant Rebels, let's uncover how feminine energy can be a game changer in negotiation and conflict resolution. When you're in the middle of a disagreement, and instead of turning it into a full-blown tug of war, you tap into that feminine energy toolkit. Negotiation isn't just about winning, it's about finding a win-win solution. Feminine energy swoops in with its empathetic cape allowing you to understand the other person's needs and concerns. It's like putting on negotiation glasses that help you see beyond your own wants. When both parties feel heard and understood, that's when the magic of compromise happens. Conflict resolution becomes a smoother ride with feminine energy at the helm. It's about turning those fiery disagreements into calm, productive conversations. Imagine diffusing a tense situation by sprinkling in some understanding and empathy. It's not about sweeping issues under the rug, but addressing them with a touch of finesse and respect. Here's the kicker. Feminine energy in negotiation and conflict resolution doesn't mean being a doormat. Nope, it's about being assertive with a touch of grace. It's expressing your thoughts and needs while acknowledging and respecting the other person's perspective. It's finding that middle ground where both parties can shake hands and move forward without lingering grudges. So next time you're faced with a negotiation or a conflict, channel that inner empathetic diplomat. You might just find yourself navigating through rough waters with a smoother sail and leaving everyone feeling heard and respected. That's the power of feminine energy in resolving differences. Feminine energy in personal life. Radiant rebels ever felt like family conversations resemble a wrestling match more than a heart to heart. Visualize this. The dinner table is a battlefield and the mashed potatoes are casualties. Well, fear not. Let's embark on a storytelling adventure to uncover how feminine energy communication can sprinkle some harmony into family dynamics and personal growth. Let's first land in the world of family dynamics. It's like a sitcom sometimes, right? There's dad, the wise owl with his dad jokes, mom, the multitasking superhero, and the siblings, each with their unique quirks. Now here's where feminine energy steps in offering a magical potion to smoothen those daily interactions. Applying feminine energy within the family isn't about who's in charge. It's about creating a cozy nest where everyone feels heard and valued. It's like having a secret decoder ring for understanding emotions and building stronger connections. Imagine diffusing those sibling squabbles with a sprinkle of empathy or having heart-to-heart -heart talks that make family bonds even stronger. Now let's venture into personal growth and empowerment through communication. Think of it as unlocking your superhero potential. When you embrace feminine energy in how you express yourself, it's like donning a cape of authenticity. You're not just talking, you're sharing your thoughts and feelings in a way that feels true to you. Communication becomes a tool for growth. It's about understanding yourself better, expressing your desires, fears and dreams with confidence. It's like adding layers to your personal development, understanding that your words hold power and can shape your reality. And hey, who wouldn't want to feel like a communication wizard, casting spells of empowerment with every word? 
So, Radiant Rebels, let's journey together to explore how embracing feminine energy in communication can turn those family skirmishes into moments of understanding and transform your words into tools for personal growth and empowerment. Get ready for a ride that'll sprinkle laughter, wisdom, and a pinch of magic into your communication adventures. Practical tactics for implementing feminine energy. Communication. Radiant Rebels, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of communication magic. Active listening, empathetic responses, body language, authenticity, and confidence. It's like unlocking secret codes to make your communication superhero powers shine. First up, active listening and empathetic responses. Imagine someone's pouring their heart out, and instead of nodding off or planning your grocery list in your mind, you put on your superhero listening cape. Active listening is all about tuning in, asking questions, and really showing you care. It's like giving someone a high five with your ears saying, you matter and I'm all ears. Now let's talk body language. It's the unsung hero of communication. Imagine having a conversation where your words say one thing, but your crossed arms and raised eyebrows say another. It's like having a secret conversation in code. So when you're chatting with family or friends, let your body do the talking too. A smile, a nod or an open posture can speak volumes. Authenticity and confidence are next on our superhero agenda. Being authentic is like wearing your favorite superhero cape. It's about being true to yourself. Imagine speaking your mind without worrying about being someone you're not. It's about embracing your quirks and strengths, knowing that they're what make you shine. Confidence! It's not about being a loudspeaker. It's about believing in what you say. A superhero standing tall, not because they're the loudest, but because they believe in their powers. So when you communicate from that place of authenticity and confidence, your words carry weight and impact. So, Radiant Rebels, by honing these communication superpowers, active listening, understanding body language, being authentic and owning your confidence, you're not just having conversations, you're weaving magic into your relationships and personal growth journey. It's time to embrace these tools and step into your communication superhero cape. Remember, your thoughts and experiences matter. Feel free to share your journey or insights in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more empowering content. Your support means the world. Overcoming challenges and misconceptions. Radiant Rebels, let's tackle the hurdles and bust some myths about embracing feminine energy in communication. Imagine this journey as a treasure hunt. We're navigating through challenges and shining a light on misconceptions to unearth the gems of balanced communication. First up, the challenges in embracing feminine energy communication. It's like learning a new dance move. At first, it might feel a bit awkward, some might worry it means becoming too soft or losing their assertiveness. But fear not, because embracing feminine energy doesn't mean ditching your strength. It's about adding depth and finesse to it. It's like spicing up your favorite dish. The flavor's still there, but now it's even more delicious. Now let's zoom in on those misconceptions and stereotypes. You've probably heard them. Feminine energy equals weakness, or it's just for one gender. But hey, let's burst that bubble. Feminine energy isn't exclusive. It's a superpower we all possess. It's not about gender. It's about tapping into that intuitive, empathetic side we all have. So it's time to wave goodbye to these stereotypes and welcome a more inclusive perspective. Encouraging the integration of feminine energy for balanced communication is the golden ticket. It's like mixing colors on a palette when you blend the bold strokes of masculine energy with the intricate hues of feminine energy, you create a masterpiece. 
balanced communication isn't about choosing one over the other. It's about finding that sweet spot where both energies harmonize. It's like having a dynamic duo in your communication toolkit. So, Radiant Rebels, as we navigate these challenges and myths, let's embrace the idea that incorporating feminine energy doesn't mean discarding what you already bring to the table. It's about enriching your communication palette, adding shades and tones that make your conversations more vibrant and fulfilling. Let's rewrite the narrative and invite everyone to dance to the rhythm of balanced communication. Success stories and examples. Radiant Rebels, let's dive into real life stories where feminine energy communication rocked the stage and left a lasting impact. These tales are like treasure chests filled with gems of successful interactions that'll spark inspiration and light the way. Sarah, an executive, led her team not with an iron fist, but with a heart full of empathy. Instead of barking orders, she listened, understood and guided. The result? Her team felt heard and valued, leading to innovative ideas and a workplace buzzing with productivity. Sarah's story is proof that feminine energy in leadership isn't just a concept, it's a game-changer in action. Now let's peek into some testimonials and case studies. Meet Alex, who resolved a heated conflict at work not by raising their voice, but by embracing empathy and understanding. By tapping into feminine energy communication, Alex transformed tension into collaboration earning respect and trust from colleagues. These real-life case studies highlight the power of empathy and active listening as tools for success. And here's an inspiring tale to fuel your motivation. Maya, a teenager navigating high school, struggled to find her voice. But when she embraced her authenticity and communicated from her heart, magic happened. Her confidence soared, relationships blossomed, and she became a beacon of empowerment for her peers. Maya's journey showcases how feminine energy in communication isn't just for the workplace. It's a life skill that shapes meaningful connections. These stories aren't just anecdotes. They're roadmaps to success paved with empathy, authenticity and confidence. They stand as reminders that embracing feminine energy in communication isn't just about words, it's about weaving a tapestry of understanding and connection in every aspect of life. So Radiant Rebels, let these stories be sparks that ignite your own journey toward more fulfilling and impactful communication. Practical exercises and takeaways. All right, Radiant Rebels, Let's roll up our sleeves and dive into some practical exercises to flex those feminine energy communication muscles. No capes required, just a willingness to explore and grow. First off, interactive exercises. Ever tried the mirror game? It's like a fun dance, but with words. Practice mirroring someone's emotions and body language in a conversation. It's a cool way to show you're on the same wavelength, like a secret handshake, but with empathy. Another exercise is the five senses chat. Engage all your senses in a conversation. Listen to the tone, see the body language, taste the words not literally, of course. Smell the emotions and feel the vibe. It's like diving into a conversation pool with all your senses ready to soak up every drop of communication. Now for some key takeaways. Remember, Feminine energy in communication isn't about flipping a switch. It's about adding spice to your existing recipe. Practice active listening, not just hearing, but truly understanding. And hey, don't forget to sprinkle empathy and kindness into your daily chats like confetti. It makes conversations more colorful. Implementing these strategies in daily life isn't about perfection. It's about progress. So start small, maybe with a smile or a genuine how are you, to a friend. Each step you take in embracing feminine energy in communication is like planting a seed. Nurture it and watch it bloom into richer, more meaningful connections. 
Remember, radiant rebels, communication's like a garden. It needs watering and care. So dive into these exercises, grab those takeaways, and sprinkle that feminine energy into your daily conversations. Before you know it, you'll be weaving magic in every interaction and fostering connections that sparkle.